Hi, I'm Diane Lauder, Vice President from Randolph-Macon College for Advancement, and I'd like to show what's behind you is the new Brock Commons. This is a campus center that's being built thanks to the generosity of Macon and Joan Brock, as well as a number of other friends and alumni who have given generously to this project. It will be a building of 26,000 square feet and will be what I call the family room of Randolph-Macon College. It will be a place for students to relax, to gather, to enjoy coffee in a cafe, to have a meal. We also have a movie theater, uh, some community space that the residents of, the, of Hanover can use as well. Of course, the very important bookstore will be in that building. So I think that this will be one of the most vibrant and visible spots on campus for the entire campus community to enjoy. Also, I'd like to tell you about the upcoming Birdsong Residence Hall. Tom Birdsong and the Birdsong Corporation gave generously to allow us to build a new residence hall that will have 30 apartments, and in each apartment will house four upperclassmen. It's a very exciting project for us. It will border the south side of the football lacrosse field and will be something that students can look forward to living, living in once they uh, have reached their junior or senior year. The exciting part about this building as well is that there will be a pavilion that actually attaches the two halves of the building. Inside that room will be a large dining area that we could seat 200, um, or it can be broken into three smaller rooms to be used for classrooms as well. So it's a multi-purpose venue. We'll also have balconies where alumni, friends, students, faculty can enjoy um, the game from the balcony or they can enjoy just gathering together and um, coming together as part of the Randolph-Macon family. The groundbreaking for Birdsong will be on June 1st, right after commencement, and then we will anticipate completion on July of 2014 ready for the new residents to move in in August of fall 2014. The third project I'd like to talk about is the science building. We have a new science building coming online. We are currently fundraising for that building. It will be a 27,000 square foot building, three stories. The first story will be the biology department, the second story the environmental science and geology floor, and the third floor will be the chemistry floor. So we're really excited about getting this new building online. We've raised approximately half of the funds needed to build this building, but we are eagerly trying to raise the, the remaining balance before we can break ground on that building. The other project we're doing with the sciences is we are renovating the current Copley Science Center. That, those renovations will actually begin here shortly with the bulk of the work being done in the summer of 2013. We will replace the roof, replace all the windows, we will actually begin creating a neuroscience institute in the part of Smithy Hall that is currently dedicated to the psychology department. So it's a very exciting project and we have lots going on and we're looking forward to all of our alumni, whether you were a science major or whether you just went through the building as uh, you took your one or two science courses to come back and help us complete this building to complete the transformation of the college.